Hey everybody, Fun Stampers, Jenny Coach Janice Whiting here. I am back. I know there's quite a bit of a little lull since my last video, but I completely forgot when I was uh, telling you guys about the next project I was going to be doing that I was going to be working the Scrapbook Expo in Milwaukee. And so that took me... Um, off of my video making for about four days and so I got back yesterday and so here I am back at it uh, to showcase um, my last project using um, one of the stamp sets from our Faith Journey set or collection. That is 35% off this month. Now I guess I should probably tell you or say that the, if you've never been to one of our scrap, I say our, any of these scrapbook expos, then I highly recommend it. Guys, if you love crafting and stamping, which if you're watching me, then that means you do, um, then you will love these expos. There are so many fun vendors. There are classes you can take. Um, and there, it's just fun to get together with other people who love to craft. So go to scrapbookexpo.com, go check out their locations. They've got them all over the US and you may end up seeing me. Every now and then I'll go and I will uh, teach a class or help out in the creativity center or just wherever they need me. Um, I love it, I enjoy it, I enjoy meeting you. So, uh, to, or I say this past weekend, I met quite a few of you. So, hey guys, I loved seeing you, I loved meeting you, loved meeting Chelsea. Uh, also, Fun Stampers Journey Coach, and congratulations, Chelsea, for making manager. I know it's not official, official, but congrats. Had a bunch of, a uh, whole bunch of fun meeting you and talking to you and a lot of the other ladies that um, were out there. So, anyways, I had to say that because I love giving little shout outs. So, today's project, like I said, it's featuring one of the stamp sets in our Faith Journey collection. It's 35% off. Today, um, it's the third stamp set in the collection, um, and it, the collection is called Trust the Lord. So another, they're all wonderful. I love them all for different reasons. Um, this one, my favorite is this heart, of course, right here. It's Proverbs 3, 5, which is trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your understanding lean not on your own understanding. And actually Proverbs 3, 5 through 6 um, has been my favorite verse for, gosh, since I became a believer when I was 17. Um, so love that. It has, holds a special place in my heart. Um, but it also has a few others. So do not be afraid. Just believe. That's Mark 5, uh, 36. With God, all things are possible. Uh, Matthew 19, 26. Love that, of course. And then John 14, 8 it says, if, if God is all you have, you have all you need. Um, so so fun. And so, of course, I love this little um, stamp here. And that's what I showcased in my card today. So let me go ahead and bust it out. Um, you know what I love about my card today? That it is quite easy to make, pretty simple. And whoa. So there's the beautiful heart, of course. Of course, I had to throw in some of our fun sequins. And I don't know if you can pick up on the um, sparkle tape that I had to add to add, give a little bit of extra dimension. I'm wondering if the sunlight from my skylight will pick that up. Probably not, but anyway. So I am going to go ahead and show you how I created this card. Um, and like I said, fairly simple. It does require you to have um, our raised die, our sun raised die, but I'll talk about that in a minute. But again, the hero of this card is that beautiful heart that um, shows the verse, Proverbs 3, 5. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera around and I'll show you how I put this together. All right, here we go. Okay, so here's the beautiful card. And you know what? I think with this view, you can see that sparkle tape better. Woo, woo, love that sparkle tape. Oh my goodness, love it. You gotta have it, guys. Okay, so to start off, again, this is a fairly simple card. Um, we're gonna use a regular, um, what am I trying to say? Regular tent fold at the top, four and a, uh, four and a quarter by five and a half fold, tent fold because the fold, like I said, is at the top. Um, from there, you are going to need a piece of our pineapple smoothie paper, which we are going to cut or die cut, shall I say, this beautiful sun rays die. I had to incorporate it. I actually just recently bought this and I don't know why it took me so long to purchase one. I love this sun rays die. And of course, to save time, I've already run it through my machine. But again, uh, the dimensions that you would need for your pineapple smoothie paper, um, this is a, a 
quarter of an inch short, so it's four inches by five and a quarter. And once you run that through your machine, die cut it, um, it should fit nicely on top of your um, whipped cream panel for your background. Now the next step in doing this is actually taking a pencil and very lightly tracing all the way around each sections of the rays because you're gonna put our um, sparkle tape over it. So I did this fairly quickly. Again, just kind of make sure it's centered. And then I say very lightly because um, at the end we're gonna come and we're gonna erase some of those marks. They're not gonna be visible, but I like to erase them just so that my card is nice and clean. Um, and again, you're gonna do that on each of the rays. Reason being, again, once you trace each section, it will give you a basic grid as to where to put your tape. So I've just got a few more to do, and then I will lift this up and then we'll have a nice template down already, okay? So got that done. Now it is pretty light. Let's see if let's pick it up here. You can kind of see there. I can see it, and as long as it's light and it's dark enough for you to see, but not too dark, that's really all you need. Now from here, and again, it may be difficult for you to see, but it'll make sense here in a second. You're gonna take your sparkle washi tape in white, and you are gonna take a few strips. And what I did, because I didn't need it as thick, I just took a few strips and then I took my um, Pro Shears that um, have the longer blade and I cut them in half. Now, I lined up each piece of tape, washi, uh, washi tape, along the left side of each ray and I tried to get the tape to go about halfway into each ray. Halfway into meaning like I wanted half of the ray, like right along the side of that left-hand side with about half of it being sparkle and half of it being just plain white, okay? So it, didn't, it doesn't exactly um, could turn out like that on each one, but I, I got it close enough and I liked the results so I just kept it. Um, and so you do that for each side. So this one again, line it up towards the left side. And you're just gonna go ahead and line each section up and put a strip along each side. Now if it's a little long at the bottom, you do wanna trim them um, because your ray panel will cover most, but there is that little bit, of probably like an eighth of an inch or so down here that you want this to create nice and clean, so you don't want your tape to overlap there. Um, and then if you have any shortage, or if when you put the, the die back over and you see some areas that you might need a little bit more tape, you can always go back and add some. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut a few of these strips out. I'm gonna cut them, and actually I think one of them I didn't cut in half, because this one was quite thick, this little chunky ray here. So I left it a solid piece came down, lined it up as best as I could here. And let's see, when you put that back here, yeah, it does kind of cover it. So you just do it all the way around. So I'm gonna go ahead and do one, two, cut those in half. To me, this particular step, this little what glitter washi tape is kind of what makes the card because before I had this down it looked fine the card was okay but it was definitely missing you know something to make it a you know pop or stand out a little bit more and the sequins were awesome to give you that pop they always sequins always add a fun flair but this washi tape just cannot be beat because the glitter aspect of it is Super fun. And you know what? I said it's white and it is white, but it really is almost translucent. So it kind of, if I put it over a colored paper, it would take kind of, it would take over that color as well. So you don't have to, you know, it's not going to be solid white over anything. So for example, if I put it over this little piece of pineapple smoothie, it kind of takes on a little bit of that pineapple smoothie color. So, okay, I've got a few more sections to go. 
cut a few more here. And you can see I'm kind of going back and forth between my pro shears and my detail pro shears. Guys, if you do not have a pair of either one of these, these are kind of like my bait, one of my top five items that I highly recommend that you get just because they are such high quality. Um, I don't know if I've ever told you, but they're self-sharpening because of the, the way that the type of blade that it is. Every time that you cut with it, it sharpens itself, which is quite nice. So um, you don't ever have to worry about these getting dull on you. They're doing the work as you cut. Super, super high quality. And if you ever, you know, grab a pair, when you get it, you'll notice there is a definite... You could, it's a, there's a nice weight to it. I mean, it's not ridiculously heavy or anything, but it's a very nice weight and you can tell that they are um, a nice quality pair. Now I don't have to trim necessarily in the front because that yellow is gonna cover that. I've got this one and a couple more here. I think I'll just use this little guy. Yep, and then one short one here and then I'll be ready to put the panel over it. I'm gonna trim this. And this guy will go here. All right, so now it may not look very pretty, pretty at first because, and that's okay, because you're gonna put your panel over it um, and it will look lovely there. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you. So here's, <laughs> it's pretty sparkle. Oh, there it is, woo, woo And then you're gonna take that panel that you just uh, die cut. You're just gonna align it with the grid and you're just gonna to check to make sure that you got all of your um, bases covered. And I'm looking here, and actually this is okay because the heart is gonna cover some of that, so I'm okay with any bits and pieces here. And I think I've got it all covered, so I'm good to go. I do see that I've got some seepage here, so I'm gonna go ahead and trim that. Um, other than that, I think I'm good. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim this piece, and then I'm gonna grab my craft glue, and I'm gonna glue the sun rays die frame down. Okay, so I'm gonna come over and bring my craft glue, my journey craft glue. Awesome glue, highly recommend it. It's not like your regular Elmer's glue, it's got a thicker um, formula to it, which is really nice. It does dry pretty quickly, not too fast, that doesn't allow you for last minute changes and things like that which is one of the reasons why sometimes I will use liquid glue when I'm trying to position something just right because it does allow me to shift things a little bit. So anyway, definitely recommend that. Now go ahead and once you've got that glue, bring your piece back. And you know what, I completely forgot that you want to kind of erase some of those pencil marks. They won't be seen, but like I said earlier, I like to have my card look nice and clean. So just in case for some reason I don't get it aligned just right, um, you won't have any evidence of any pencil marks on here. So you definitely wanna take a nice white eraser and erase and then you can apply your template over that. So real carefully, you're gonna bring your template over and you're just gonna lay it down nice and careful. Now again, because you're using that wet glue, you don't have to worry so much about you know, not having enough time to shift as you need to. So that's nice. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and firm down. Look at that lovely little sunlight. <laughs> Sorry, that probably didn't help you see very well. So once you've got it down, I actually turn it over and just kind of press firmly on the back just so that all of it gets nice and um, just adhered a little bit nicely without having to like, you know, individually go through each little ray. Ta-da, so fun, and of course, Sunlight does come in handy for seeing that shimmer. Isn't that beautiful? Can you imagine? You can do so many things with that um, washi tape of shimmer, the sun ray, just even this by itself with a little sentiment. It's a beautiful card just as it is. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and use our hero of this card to create this beautiful um, heart with the rays. And I'm, I've already got it out and I've put it on my um, F block there. And again, if you're using our blocks, make sure you put it on the non-gridded side. So one side is gridded, so you can use that for good alignment. Um, and then the other side is what you're supposed to use to adhere your block to. Now you're gonna uh, ink this up using our Blue Lagoon ink pad. And I 
have recently made this, so I left mine with some ink on it, but I'm going to ink it up a little bit more anyway. So Blue Lagoon ink pad, ink it up real, real well. Grab a scrap piece of our whipped cream, and you're going to go ahead and just press down firmly on that. And I wanted to create, I wanted to, I loved this ray, the ray aspect, and I could have just cut the heart out and used the heart by itself, but I wanted to keep the rays in there. And so what I did was I took my um, Detail Pro Shears, I trim just real easy and real fast all the way around it, just to kind of get rid of the excess paper and to make it a little bit easier for me to trim within the rays. And then I just kind of pierced at a kind of at an angle, just little pierced little triangles out of each one. And I tried to get as close to the top, the, not the top, the tip of each ray, so that I didn't have too much white kind of coming out. And I just kept doing that until I got all the way around. Now I have one that's already done just because I know you don't want to watch me trim this as much as I know you love hearing me talk. <laughs> I went ahead and did one already. So that's really it. I just kind of trimmed all the way. Some of them aren't perfect and that's okay because you still have that, you still get the idea. And isn't that so gorgeous? I love it. I love it. Okay, so you have your heart piece and I used our foam squares, our medium adhesive foam squares. And I think I put three. I did one, two, and three. And then I went ahead and adhered this um, to the center of the little sun. And then after I adhered it to the center, that's when I went in and did all the other kind of fun decorating. So try to get it in the center. Okay, he's good to go. Now from here is when um, from here is when you get your journey sequence. And I used our blue skies. And again, I do apologize for that sun. I mean, I love the sun, but it's kind of making my video half and half. So blue skies. Now you guys know I've used these many times. And I try, oh, that's quite a lot. <laughs> Let's bring those over so you can see those beauties. Aren't they awesome? They are quite a lot, uh, but it's okay. You like a lot because you get, it's a great value for your money. Um, and again, I think I told you guys before, even though it says blue skies, it has different shades. So it maybe have a little bit of green. It has a little bit of a dark blue, a sky blue, a sea foam green. Some of them are fun and iridescent. Some are just a little translucent. Some are a little bit more opaque. So you get a, a wide variety of them. So from here, I just kind of picked and choose random um, little um, sequins and I just kind of put them at random. Now I, I say that uh, kind of loosely. I did want to try to create a from big to small. So I chose a big one first and then a medium one to kind of come over on this side. And then the next one that I put down, I chose um, a small one because I wanted to kind of just go with that feel of the, the heart and the rays are going out and like the sparkly sequins are coming out, which is so fun. And I chose one, I think I did like one, two, three, and four uh, little rays and I popped them out that way. At first I had put them kind of all over and I, that was a little too much, uh, too many, too many sequins. So I changed it up and I think I really um, enjoyed this balance. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a few more, put one here. And again, groups of three. Now, if you were at my class this weekend in Wisconsin, <laughs> um, you would have been privy to my new little saying that I came up with, and I do claim it 100% because I've never heard this before. You know, everyone loves to hear little ditties that help you to remember certain things. Well, um, I don't know if I've said this before, I probably have, but we may, may or may not know that, you know, odd numbers for whatever reason are more aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Um, in nature, they're found, um, you know, groupings of three or five or seven. And anyway, so I kept thinking of ways. On day one, I was like, we need to come up with a way to remember that. And 
Um, I started off with groups of three and then I couldn't think of anything. And then I kid you not, I was in the bathroom and I thought groups of three are nice to see. <laughs> Don't you love it? I love it. So there you go. If you ever forget how many to put on, think groups of three are nice to see. They are nice to see. Your eye loves them. Um, so go with that if you're ever in doubt. How many to put? There you go. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> okay, so I've got my little sequins in groups of three. I actually also put a nice, I, this part was needing to be balanced out a little bit because it's the longest section, um, the longest ray in the card. And so I just put a little guy over here to balance out the blue and the shimmer. And really the last thing that I did on this card, I told you it was easy, was just the bow. And the bow is quite simple. Although I know some people, you know, you get freaked out about bows. You're like, I can't do them. You can do them. Just practice. Watch the video. Rewind. We'll do it again. You can do it. I promise. Now, to create this pretty bow right here, I don't know if you can see it, but it's using some of our white, our whipped cream journey thread. Right there. Um... I've done this bow a couple times before, but I'll go ahead and show you again. Again, I just like to grab just a good amount of it, just make it loose so that I don't have to keep pulling as I go. I hold the end of the thread in my hands with my three fingers. I put my trigger finger out and my thumb, and then literally I just go around it. And this one was three loops. So one loop, one, two, two, three, three. And once I've got the right amounts, I hold that end with my with my finger here and then I snip it so I've got a little bit loose. Okay, now from here you're gonna go over this little loose one, the first the first little end, okay? Over that and through all the little down the side. And then you're gonna bring it through to create a knot. Okay, so you just basically created a little bit of a knot. Tighten it up. Try to make it right in the center, and you can push it and pull it and make it work for you. You're making the bow, okay? And then I try to do one more knot after that, just to make sure it's nice and secure. You can make as many knots as you want, okay? And then from there, you take those loops off your fingers, and you, know, you can keep it steady like this, or you can spread out the loops just by pulling them apart a little bit. And you can make it more like a fluttery, I don't know, a fluttery little bow. Okay, and then from there you're gonna trim. And I actually kept my, um, my ribbon ends pretty long. I wanted it to be long just because there's a good, little, good bit of space from the bottom there. Okay, and then from here you take some of our craft glue again, I put it right there at the peak of the heart, put a good little dab, uh, dab of glue, take your gorgeous bow that you just created, and adhere him down. Right there. And guys, that is it. That is it. Isn't it beautiful? I also tried to make sure that he wasn't covering any of the words, but if he is, that's okay. All right, there you go. That was it. There you have it. That was it. I know it went kind of fast. It's not that fast when you make it. <laughs> well, it's actually, it is fast. Maybe not that fast because I already had my die cuts and I've had my little uh, tr scissors trimming out the um, rays there. Ooh, look at that fun sunlight. Man, that's perfect. Maybe that's God's way of shining his light on this beautiful card. Um, super fun. I hope you enjoy it. Again, the hero of this card is called Trust in the Lord. Focused on this part, this stamped image. You get lots of um, other options there that are also very encouraging. I know, um, I know actually quite a few people in my life I can send this card to and they would be encouraged to know they can trust in the Lord um, with all their heart and to lean not on their own understanding because... He knows more than us, right? It's true. 
Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, these sets along with the Celebrate You collection and the um, Slice of Life collection. I was trying to bring, bring out a card or two of each one. This was one of my favorite cards I've made using the Slice of Life collection because of the fun confetti pieces and then the, the glossy glass, glossy glasses. That's about that for alliteration. And then um, the fun lemon again with a glassy glass. Um, that collection. And then of course our, like I said, our Celebrate You collection where I featured a few fun cards. Again, all of this, if you've not watched our vi my videos on them, go check them out. They're really fun. And those papers are 35% off. This was one of those no stamp sets, no problem. Um, anyway, and so this kind of finishes my faith journey series, um, unless I'm just so inspired to make one more, which is, is very possible. Um, but the next set or the next collection that is 35% off this month for the next, what's today, the 24th, 25th, for the next week, yeah. 24th for the next week or so is our Be Amazing collection. And um, Be Amazing collection is just that. It's amazing. It is fun. It features bright pops of color, neon colors, some really pizzazzy type of stamps. Um, and I think that you will like it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wrap this up. If you have any questions regarding any of the products used in my card today or any questions at all about our Fun Stampers Journey stuff, then feel free to contact me. Message me below, um, send me an email, um, and I'll ha be happy to get back to you. Again, you can go to my website, www.funstampersjourney.com to purchase these guys. I forgot a really important part of that funstampersjourney.com forward slash Janice Whiting. Um, and you can click on the shop button and that will take you to my online store. And you can shop like you would any online store. All right. Thanks for crafting with me, ladies, gentlemen, and we'll see you next time. Bye.